uh, we had the office buzzing before before we started. Um, everybody seems to be taking sides on, on Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Oh. Yeah. Uh, what were you gonna say? I thought you meant on Epstein. Oh, yeah. I think there's only one side. <laughs> uh, Gypsy Rose Blanchard. I I want to be clear. I didn't know about this story until yesterday, so I'm not in on like. I, well, I know I'm the whole. Inter- is educate yourself before you put out a take on Gypsy Rose. Because I had a few. T- I had a few just like opinions, like because I'm just I'm new to the situation. So I was like, why is why are people treating this person that way and her yes. this way? Yes. Okay. Okay. And then I got informed by yeah. Gia and okay. Caroline. So, yeah, so and Gypsy I, Rose Blanchard is a full-blown media sensation. Yeah. If you're not aware. For the last like five years, there's all these documentaries coming out. There's a new one coming out, I think, where she's in it because she's finally free from jail. A lifetime. She, her mother, Dee Dee Blanchard, had Munchausen by proxy syndrome. God where rest you, uh, no, not God rest her. No, no, no. Right. She's in hell. Yep. Uh, where you, she tortured her daughter. Gypsy has Munchausen, but G- Munchausen by proxy is what the mom has. So she. Um, Gypsy was a victim of Munchausen by proxy, so her mother told her that she had leukemia, right, that she had muscular right, dystrophy. Right. She took away, she well, put well, a feeding what, tube her in her. Her mother was a fucking lunatic who told her daughter she had a bunch of diseases. Yeah, but right, if the so, kid is so, so she, young that she, they don't know. She put um, uh, like a topical anesthetic in her mouth so that she would drool a lot That's and went to a doctor and then the doctor removed her salivary glands. They took her teeth they out? They took her teeth out because, because they were chair. rotting because she just like wouldn't clean Bad it. news, dude, it's yeah. real bad oh. news. She's getting tortured for like decades. She finally finds a boyfriend on the internet at, when she gets older. She finally and stood up. The boyfriend is like, hey, your mom's poisoning you. Like, this is not normal. Yeah. They eventually plan to kill the mother. Right. The boyfriend is an absolute lunatic. Gypsy says, go do the, do the dirty work for me. Like, set me free. He gladly walks in there and fucking murders her. He goes to jail for life. She gets 10 years, serves seven. She's out as of like two weeks ago. Yeah. Gets like five million followers in like a week. Dude, she has 12 million. Has it? She has 12 million now? Between Instagram and oh, TikTok. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. 12. She has six oh, yeah. million on Instagram. They made a bunch of documentaries about it. There's this whole thing. Like, she is. Got a new yeah, husband. Jennifer. Right. Uh, he and is fire. She said, yeah. He, he, you know, he looks, you know, he's not the best looking guy. Uh, and the internet was making fun of him for that. And she posted a, uh, a comment under his photo being like, fuck the haters. I love you. You love me. Your D is fire, and come home and bang me. And yeah, he Gypsy's was like, "I'm fucked. coming home." <laughs> uh, it's, I, you know, I'm, I, I called the Gypsy Caravan. We are full steam ahead. Man. Yeah. This chick is gonna be, if she, she has her own, like, if she stars. does like a true crime show of any sort. The only thing bigger than Jersey Jerry right now, Gypsy Rose Blanchard. I, all I was saying is, I just think. Be it careful just, now. No, I know. I'm just saying it seems like maybe it's maybe not the best for her mental health in the long term to do, immediately. Come out of jail. Your mom, you were tortured your whole life. Your mom gets murdered by your boyfriend. You go to jail and you come out and you're like the biggest thing on the internet. Yeah. I feel like is probably Bro, not gonna I maybe. Joey on the line? Do we have Joey? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so just Joey a little, is a little, uh, Gypsy Rose. He's the OG. A little He's the real okay. one driving. Just to set this up, when Joey first started here, he came in for Halloween dressed as Gypsy Dress. Rose. This is, this is three years ago, and he actually asked Erica to push him in a chair because he said that he didn't have use of his legs. Joey, you are the OG Gypsy yeah. Rose fan, so how are you feeling now that there's all these Johnny Come Latelys? <laughs> Well, you know what? I'm honestly a little annoyed because I am ahead of the trend, years ahead of the trend. I knew this was going to happen. I foreshadowed it. And um, now I just, you know, I'm just glad everyone knew what I was talking about. But I also feel like I don't even want to participate because it's like, oh, my God. Like, I've been listening to this band for right. five years. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now everyone's getting on the bandwagon. So I'm a little bit over it. But, yeah, as, my, as I predicted, and this shit's just getting started now. I think there's a lot more on the horizon for Ms. Ms. Rose. Bro, when she's talking and you can see all of her fake teeth from how, like, doctors ripped them out, it is... It is some harrowing shit to think of. What do you think of her new husband? Well, I think that he definitely has like some kind of his own issues. Obviously, he's dating a woman in prison and knowing what she went through. He looks like he has like kind of like weird like mommy issues. I'm gonna say like almost like he wants to be babied and like in a reverse kind of way, like almost like she's gonna say be taking care of him now. Yeah, like, let's... Him, like putting a diaper on and like oh. in the and acting like a baby. He's got some weird kinks. Let's See? be clear, everyone in this situation is wildly fucked up. Uh, yeah. It's just a matter of making, you know, lemonade out of lemons at this point. I mean, uh, there he is. There's Gypsy Rose. <laughs> There's Gypsy Rose. And that was, yeah, like years ago. Um, the new the new documentary is out or coming out? It's coming out on Lifetime. And she also right. has a book, um, book titled The Lifetime Show. It's available um, right now where all books are. Uh, you can pre-order it right now. <laughs> I have two copies. 
if you were advising her, what would what would you say to her? Like, what's the next move? Well, what I would advise her, I would say, you know what, pace yourself and like kind of like Alex Earl did when she like kind of waited to like do an, like a podcast and waited to kind of like do the things. Like she was like she, she had her thing going, she had her her notoriety, but she kind of waited to like you know kind of like get the right brand deals and like work it out. So I think she should like so, like take a beat before she like commits to too many things. Um, like everyone's gonna be wanting to like kind of get her on you know their shows. Everyone's gonna want to do like stories with her, spin off shows, reality kind of things. Everyone's gonna want to kind of get on the bandwagon right away. Um, I think she needs to get a good management team right away. Maybe and, it should be you, Joey. I, well, I could. I, I, I've been a life coach for many years. Yeah. <laughs> You could do her hair, do her makeup, and manage her whole career. Well, I think that's. I think what. I think the first step is the gays are going to get to her, and yeah. that's before anyone else does. <laughs> She's Someone's ours. Someone's going to go in there with a hair weave and give her, like, give her a blowout and like a mommy, like, a full makeover. Um, what you know, any any of those like tacky like dentistry things, like, the veneer, the veneer queens yeah, are going to get to her. Yeah, that. Yeah. Smile makeover. <laughs> yeah. Um, she's selling flat tummy tea in fucking twenty five minutes. It's like it's bound to happen. <laughs> the veneer. I'll say queens. this. I I genuinely think there's a there's a you know greater than zero chance that Ro Gypsy Rose Blanchard will be on Call Her Daddy. Oh, oh uh, yeah. I would say. I, I, I could see Alex Cooper zero. sitting yeah. down with her. And Phil, like, why are you shaking your head? I'm saying I'm agreeing with oh, you. Oh, oh, oh. I think I think Alex Cooper will will like do a, a Barbara Walters thing with her, and it will just be like, yes, Queen Slay. That's the platform yeah. to do it. That's the one. That's the one you got to do it. I mean, or out and about. Or out about. We we planted that seed years ago to get Gypsy Rose on, and it's been a. a an uphill battle, to say the least. Asking Kelly Martin to get Gypsy yeah, Rose Yeah, she's Blanchard like, on. I'm sorry, I'm like, I'm working on something else right now. <laughs> like, sorry, we're working on Tom Brady for PMT. Can but, we have a but minute? Yeah, I, I think people think, like, she she said the other day, like, her, Taylor, she's a huge Taylor Swift fan. She wanted to go to the Chiefs game, and she was like, I want to run into Taylor Swift. And I think people think that, like, she's the crazy one, and they're like, why is this weird girl, like, trying to get to Taylor? And then all of a sudden she was ordered to leave the state of Missouri, and it's like, this girl was nothing but a fucking victim of a horrible, horrible monster who did what she needed to do to stay to stay alive. So, fucking get on board with Gypsy Rose. Also, I think that it's yeah. important to say that there were other, there could have been other ways out of it, other than murder. I, was murder the yes. only way out of it. Like nah. this guy, I think this guy tricked Gypsy Rose. I think I'll say this. I think it was the best way out of it. Fair point. Yeah. I think. I think go to the, call the cop. I mean, I yeah. don't know. Go to the go to a good doctor. I think it's the best way out of it. Oh, the most satisfying for sure. Anybody who does that sure. to their kid, I don't care. Some wacko kills you? I don't know. It's no, I'm not losing sleep over that. If she goes to that game, does Taylor Swift take a picture with her? No. I think she's a little too radioactive right now, okay. but I, th I could see, you know, Taylor, you know, eventually. Taylor, Taylor won't hold a high noon can. She's not posing with a murderer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah, I was, I was thinking about the That's fact the clarity that inevitably I she, I mean, listen, she never, she never had a knife in her hand. That's all I'm saying. Shoot that. She oh, never yeah. murdered anybody. She did seven years. She did her time. She's out. I'm very. She's the other guy's in jail for life. Yeah, that was the part of the story that I didn't understand. But apparently there are some fucking crazy. Yeah, listen. Shit with the, people were like, the people who are like, the people who are like, she, she has like, a new, really... a new husband who's not the guy who murdered your 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 mom for you. Yeah, he also uh, fucking raped Gypsy Rose. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Having sex with the dead mom's body. So. We're moving on from him. New man, new life, new new. It's a new shame. It's a shame that had to go down because otherwise he is a real hero. Real or hero. If he's just like the guy that like that, comes in, kills his mom, yeah. and she's like, "Yeah, my hero." And then he's like, "Now I'm gonna rape her corn." Like, and that's ah. when it's like, ah, yeah, you, come you on, just, man. You overplayed your hand. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, had. If he's in prison and he was a normal dude and he was just right. like. I, I was in I love with this girl, and I, I thought, yeah, I no, 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 it's yeah. It's not that way. If he no. was just in prison, like, I I did what I had to do to save this girl, I think the world would, like, rally to I'd get him out. Hero, He's a psychopath out. who tried to rape a corpse and instead yeah. rape her. Fair. So, that's, that's that's gonna help him fuck that guy. And shout out to Gypsy Rose and her boy, uh, I think his name's Ryan. So, the, yeah. new, the new it couple on the scene. He Gypsy looks like Ryan. the mother. That's the thing that's going around there. It's doing side-by-sides oh, of Gypsy's mother, Dee Dee, and Ryan. Jeez. It's on the internet. If you type oh. men, it's like a twin. And Is that that's true, a... Joey? Is that true? They look similar? Yes, they do. I, they have eerily similar resemblance. And I think that's where she finds um, the most comfort because of, of her late, the late Claudine. She, um, you know, he, they're both, they both have um, supple bosom. They're both women of size. And... Uh, <laughs> They both have soft features, so I think I think there's some some kind of some kind of comforting there. Ryan catching so many strays on the internet, I can't even imagine. Dude, well, he died I mean, what I love is people, whole... people like making fun of the way he looks. Like Gypsy Rose Blanchard is like looking for like some hot boy and not just like looking for someone who 
loves her and treats her fucking like uh, right. uh, normal. Look at this, yeah. dude. She's she's not like you know the girl on Hinge being like you know Mean Girls being like you need this, the three sixes, you know. It's, yeah, I mean, I will say you if you date Gypsy Rose Blanchard, you you have to understand there's going to be a spotlight on you. Yeah, but I'm just saying making fun yeah. of him yeah. for like his look, yeah, yeah, not yeah. the the thing. I just right. think that Gypsy is very is susceptible torture? to being controlled. That's what I'm saying. She, if she's like, oh, my boyfriend is like, you know, has a couple extra pounds and he doesn't have a chiseled jaw. It's okay because he doesn't, you know, maim right. me with unnecessary medical procedures. So, but he has a fired D, is what. But he does on have Twitter. the D is fire. So hey, we break the whole thing down on Out and About. Literally everything. Yeah, about make sure to subscribe. Oh yeah, Out and About. Go give it a listen. Uh, shout out to Jerry. Make sure you subscribe to Out and About. Jerry After Dark, Barcel Radio, uh, Foreplay, and. What do you do again? Tommy Smokes Tommy YouTube. Smoke Show. Tommy yeah, Smokes Show. Yeah. Hey guys, it's me, Tommy Smokes here from the show, Barstool Radio. Thank you for watching, and please like, subscribe, and leave a comment on what you want to see us talk about next week on Barstool Radio. This has been Tommy Smokes.